Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. My name is Jason Anderson, and I am the Director of Programming here at the Kingston Canadian Film Festival. I am very happy to be joined by our guest, Rain Vermet, who is the writer and director and otherwise, uh, I guess, performer uh, in the film St. Anne, which we're thrilled to have here at the KCFF this year. I think one of the most uh, unique films and, and really uh, one of the, my, my favorites of the past 12 years, uh, 12 months, 12 years, let's go for 12 years. Let's just uh, just, just give you higher praise. <laughs> so um, if you've just joined the, if you've just viewed the film and are joining us, welcome. We hope you enjoyed it. And if not, be sure to check out our digital platform to get a ticket. And as I said, here with Rain. So th thanks so much for, for making time for us. Yeah, my pleasure. Thanks for helping get my movie out into the world. Really appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> And I can't remember, is, the, is, the, is there is the cat in the film? I cannot remember, given there are- It's no. a different film of mine, yeah. <laughs> it's my assistant here. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing. I mean, this is this is really, I mean, if people are just discovering the film through Kingston, I'm so happy because this is a film that really has had this incredible life ever since it kind of debuted, I guess about a year ago at the Berlin Festival. But I mean, is it, I mean, this it's really has continued to sort of find audiences in a way that, um, you know, I mean, there's lots of, small wonderful films that, that that kind of don't get to break out like this one has so i'm so so happy for it i mean is this kind of i mean would you say it sort of exceeded any expectations you might have had about it reaching people yeah yeah i uh, was completely surprised and completely unexpected for sort of how this weird film would just kind of blow up yeah i kind of uh yeah i kind of like achieved these things that i thought i would have to spend my whole life kind of working towards, uh, frankly. So it's been kind of an interesting year to be like, yeah, do I retire or, <laughs> you know, like, what do I, what do I do? Cause uh, yeah, we like, it's, you know, I never thought uh, I broke every single rule of that you should, you know, follow for a first feature, I just did not. And um, yeah, I'm very grateful and yeah, it's been encouraging, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's interesting cause it really is like, you know, I always, I always think about, you know, kind of, you know, kind of the, the, the tricky question of who, who an artist makes art for in a kind of real specific way, because I mean, sometimes I always think it's a very useful thing to think about because, you know, artists might think they're making work for some sort of vague group of people they don't really know, but they have, but it's, and I find that ends up being making for sort of quite vague art, as opposed to when people make art, that's really for people and often for people in their lives or people they, they know. And this one feels like something that is kind of made for people in particular. I mean, is that sort of, yeah, was that kind of a feeling you had about going into it? Yeah, it's made for me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, all my films are made for me. It's just, um, you know, I kind of use cinema and filmmaking as sort of like a tool to sort of push the thresholds of how I understand how I exist here and how I see. And so, yeah, yeah the, the core St. Anne and uh, the core of everything I do is, yeah, just to push sort of, yeah, my understanding of my world around me and the space I occupy. And, uh, but St. Anne was especially, you know, it's kind of special because like a lot of my crew and the people on camera and stuff, there was like this sort of like family vibe tone where we were working for each other and working for, you know, uh, the sake of discovery and gaining skills and, you know, having a good time. So for sure, yeah. Thinking about those folks helped me wrap that project up for sure. Yeah, it's so lovely, and it's. I mean, I, it's. I mean, it's. It is quite different. I mean, I directly encourage people to check out your other films so they can see them. Just because it is a really. I mean, there's there's all kinds of interesting stuff going on in your work so far, and, and yet this one. I mean, it does sort of connect with other films. It is still quite different. Um, and how is this like? I mean, do you always sort of set out to for Saint Anne to be? a different kind of film for you, certainly maybe the most narrative one, even if it's not a conventional narrative? Yeah, I think it was just pushing sort of where I was, you know, I think I've, I've often got pegged as like an experimental filmmaker and it's like, I guess so. And, but I think what I'm always experimenting with is, you know, storytelling and how to like play with those forms and get my point across and, uh, so it's just a game of playing, you know, this kind of cat and mouse game of just, you know, playing with stories and um, yeah, and I kind of like to think of my work as like one big continuum and, you know, the movie that is my life and I don't necessarily kind of get bogged down into like, this is one 
you know, this is the film. It's always the experience of that film and like how it's going to roll into the next and kind of change things. But I'm always, yeah, I don't really want to be boxed in. I always want to push the forum, push myself. Uh, I'm very interested in sort of the unknown and kind of skirting people into the unknown with my work and kind of surprise. So I think those sort of facets are kind of a through line in a lot of what I do. Well, that's it. Like, I think that's, I mean, it is, I mean, I think all of your work and, and seeing that especially, I mean, this is not stuff that's, it's easily categorizable, even if it's, I mean, and, and not in a way that's like, I think in the way that still feels very authentic and organic and not like, you know, the sort of, I mean, obviously when you kind of hybridize form, sometimes it feels like a very kind of top down contrived kind of thing. Whereas I just think this is like, you know, this, this is its own kind of creature in a very, you know, um, a natural way somehow yeah yeah and, and natural is very much hits my nose you know kind of people ask me how it happened and it's like well I just everything happened very naturally it just I was very open to what was coming my way and I'm very accepting and of sort of the people and the hard work and the labor and you know the epiphanies <laughs> that sort of interjected the work and um yeah, it could only have come out in the way it sort of did. And I think, yeah, to be natural is all I want to do and make work that is sort of in line with who I am, yeah. So one thing, I mean, I, and, and something I remember, you know, really striking me about the film, I mean, just it's 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 very, this this playful, unusual relationship it has with with another movie I love, which is Paris, Texas. And and how did that sort of, that, how did that sort of dynamic develop? It was this Paris, Texas, a movie that, had that kind of impact on like why did that sort of kind of become this sort of a bit of a container somehow or things that were kind of that St. Anne sort of had a relationship with? It was just a point to leap off of and I think especially you know in the scope of previous short films I've done which I was you know literally cutting prints up and making new work out of somebody else's work um, and collaging and so for me it's just, yeah, I have to leap off of something. So when I kind of decided to task myself at like re at writing a script, I don't know how to write a script, I still don't, you know, but it was just like, well, I'll, I'll rewrite Paris, Texas, you know? And that was just a simple way to sort of get things going. And I very much knew from the get-go that it would be vastly different from Paris, Texas, you know, but definitely, yeah, pay, pay, pay homage to it. And this, yeah, it's a beautiful film, so yeah. But it was just something about the theme of that certainly is such a poignant I mean just the I mean that you know it's so much about kind of kind of ideas about home and estrangement and kind of the, the kind of how families sort of um kind of form and reform because of these sorts of you know kind of people kind of coming in and out of of each other's lives I mean it's just there's I mean what was of course I'm just rambling on about that but I mean there's that sort of stuff that was I mean what, what was, that, was those sort of some of the things that you were kind of looking to to, to use or sort of look at in St. Anne as well yeah, I for sure really liked the way that the image is treated as sort of like this kind of link or relic to kind of identity and how that really plays in with land and land and identity. So it's like land identity image, uh, which were sort of these things I was very curious about uh, exploring with St. Anne. And also, uh, yeah, I wanted to make something personal reflect on me and my family and um, yeah, my dad there's something of Harry Dean Stanton-esque about uh my dad and he's like, you know he's a quiet guy and uh that character always had some sort of air about it so it just was yeah kind of me placing myself in these roles you know is it, it was I'm just thinking like I'll, I'll, I'll come back to, to uh, some of those points again but I was just thinking about like the process of actually sort of of actually asking you know people in your life, people like your family to be part of this. And was there, what were some of those early conversations like did you, in terms of, I mean, were they kind of like, sure, whatever you want, <laughs> or did it take some convincing for people? I didn't ask. That's the thing where I said, <laughs> this came out naturally. We, uh, yeah, the family, we were gathered, we suffered, you know, in extreme losses to the family. So obviously we're gathering and, you know, as we were kind of getting caught up, I was talking about this film projects that I was working on and, I had to, I needed actors and I didn't know, I didn't know how to work with actors. I didn't know how to find actors. And yeah, my cousins, they were, they were like, well, come on, we'll do it. And so it was just, I said, yes. And we wrote 
like wrote them in and uh my dad was sort of yeah worked with me throughout the whole production process was like really you know supporting me immensely frankly and so he was on set and so we just kind of folded him <laughs> he was around so he ended up there and so it kind of the family sort of component of it just sort of kept accumulating more more speed and predominance as the production kept going yeah and it's lovely too because it really feels like I mean I mean I think that you know you certainly it has a feeling of like I mean people are just kind of uh are allowed to be themselves. I mean, they're kind of, you know, of course, there's a couple of different layers going on in terms of of, of, of kind of who they are within the, the text of the film or, or what have you. But but there is this sort of like, I mean, one thing I really find that kind of generates a lot of warmth in the film for me is just like this sort of acceptance of kind of like, this is who they are in this moment on camera. And this is, this is, this is what it is. And it, as opposed to feeling like you have a, a very, you know, kind of other filmmakers might have a much more sort of you know, controlling attitude towards it. Yeah, there's no control here. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I really like collaborating. And again, you know, working with non-actors, I was very much aware that we had to be ourselves in order for us to sort of kind of sell, <laughs> sell, sell what was on screen. And so, yeah, it was like natural performances because we're my cousins and we're laughing and having a good time. And, you know, even with uh, Dolores and Jack and Valérie, like they were always welcome to like bring to the forefront what they wanted to. There never was locked dialogue or any of that kind of stuff. And especially Dolores' character, you know, I would just ask her to tell me stories and we would sort of fold those in and, you know, have conversations over meals and, and understand the, the work and each other uh, according to those sort of relationships, yeah. It's, I was just thinking about how, I mean, again, sort of that relationship between the, the people and the place is, is, is so interesting in the film. And I'm wondering if there was sort of a, a kind of a casting process at all when it came to kind of where, I mean, so, I mean, so much of these sort of amazing sort of views around the sort of, especially, the, I mean, the, there's a lot of great interiors, but certainly the sort of exterior spaces that you're using. I mean, that, what, that, what kind of drew you to some of these places and these places that you've known for a long time or places that were new to you or? Yeah, a lot of them are places I knew and sort of the location scouting was a big part of it. And that was also this thing I did with my dad. We, whenever he had like time off of work, you know, we just get in the truck and like drive around. And, you know, I was looking for sort of a valley or a body of water. And, you know, we ended up shooting at my uncle's gravel pit a bunch of times and shot in St. Anne, shot in my hometown. And so, yeah, there's this nice kind of process of like, understanding the film, understanding where we're going to shoot and that sort of back lane understanding of that and how that kind of played into the fiction, you know, and those crossovers and and that, that green shed space. I just kept, you know, saying I wanted to find this luminescent space and Christian, who worked with the camera, she said her parents had the site. So I just wrote a bunch of scenes, you know, and, but we were, all, we were always revisiting the same sites too. So, um, yeah, our relationships to these sites were always kind of changing and growing also. And that's something, I mean, that, that kind of, again, that sort of kind of fluid, open nature of the project is just, it, it's sort of discernible, you know, throughout. Although, I, I mean, one thing he always thinks about is, I mean, a film like this, I know it was almost like you can feel that there's a sort of infinite variety of films that could have been somehow, like just because when you are dealing with a sort of piece that sort of is open, you know, as, as this one, like it's, it's how do you, how do you determine what that sort of final or final-ish version of it's going to be? I mean, was that a big challenge? I mean, you just have like a lot of material to sort of shape? Yeah, there was a lot of material. There was a variety of material and a lot of audio. And, you, know, uh, you know, some scenes were crafted out of different scenes and the audio was just kind of stuck in there. And uh, Yeah, for sure. If I were to edit it now, it would be like vastly different, but it was kind of yeah, I had to finish it to get it to Berlin. Like I had a few weeks to finish it. Just like never again. Didn't expect them to take the film and kind of got caught and was like, oh no, you know, I have to wrap it up. So, uh, yeah, it could have been any way. Like even just you know when I watched it at TIFF, kind of was very critical. And you know, in my mind, there's a much better edit, but I have to move on. Yeah. 
Well, it is so lovely. And this is, again, I'm just so so happy for the film and that you've been able to, like, you know, the, the kind of exposure through Mubi and, and the States and, and, and through festivals. It's just, it, it really is. It's one of those things that's like heartening. Like it's like, oh, because it because it is sort of it is a, it's a small intimate piece, obviously. And the idea that you know that and plenty of things in that kind of mode just kind of you know don't get uh, the, the attention they deserve. So I'm always really happy when when one does. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Again, like totally insane. You know how, how it kind of popped off. Yeah. And is it sort of? I mean, is it sort of? I mean, we got, I've sadly got to wrap up in a few minutes. But you know, is it still? Is it sort of? I mean, does the success or does that does it sort of point towards or has it pointed towards new work or is it kind of not that you want to repeat this film I don't think there's anyone looking for like oh no you've got to do this exact same film over again but I mean is there is it creating sort of a uh, new pathways for you somehow um like creatively for me it has but it's mm -hmm. kind of you know I live a very isolated chill life so <laughs> you know it's funny kind of running into people and they think that it, it changed my life and you know it's nice but it hasn't necessarily I think because of the way I work and stuff like that it is sort of harder to bridge into kind of the machine you know which is not is perhaps a good thing yeah <laughs> I, I'm just imagining that 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 phone call with that like that that agent in LA who thinks you're like a real hot property like, oh I gotta I gotta <laughs> Yeah, it's, you know, it's been a nice, weird, kind of quiet time of, yeah, researching and, yeah, setting new goals and, yeah, being curious again. So it's a slow time and I'm trying to, like, enjoy it. Yeah. And I hope you'll be able to get out and, uh, and yeah, just, and certainly as, as sort of things open up again and be able to sort of screen it. You know, it was great in some of the festivals, I'm sure, getting to sort of play it, you know, in real theaters and real screens because it, you know, it is a sort of film I think has has that kind of uh, a sort of collective warmth, you know, uh, um, you know, from it, which is good to share with a crowd. Yeah, nothing beats the cinema experience for sure. Yeah. Sadly, we're playing it digitally here, but we're still <laughs> going to play it. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Well, thank you so much, Rain, for for making time for us and yeah. and. And sharing and sharing, saying and so yeah, and we look forward to the next one. So please, you know, in in your own chill way, stay productive. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks everyone for joining us. The uh, the festival runs uh, March three to thirteenth. So uh, please check out many more films and sessions too. And thanks again, Ray. Thank you.